When you see that wonderful aerial shot of Paradise Hotel, and you see the big infinity pool, and you see the, that, very, that open salon area, and you see the bedrooms to the right and to the left, and then you see the co coconut kind of roof that comes over the dining room, those two levels are where the show is, was filmed. Everything else above that, and you'll see like a fountain and, and more structures above that, that was all production, all connected by miles of cable. The control room, as you say in this country, but we actually call it the gallery back in Europe. Um, it's by no means glamorous. I mean, it is actually the hub of where everything happens. This is where you have all the cameras. This is where you have the team that are on hand 24-7 who are you know, on a rota and they're watching all this stuff and they're logging all this stuff going on. And it is probably the best place to be at Paradise Hotel. In the control room, the fact that we have like 36 robotic cameras, first of all, you need a couple people to monitor those cameras. Not just the television network exec, but I'm also a RoboCam operator. It took me a little while, but I got an understanding of how these uh, robocams work, and I, I pretty much did a two or three hour shift in the middle of the night when I could. When I saw the control room, you know, I just, I had no idea how much time and equipment and effort is put into making a show like this. It definitely is very voyeuristic being in that room. Uh, you know, Truman Show has nothing on this production. It is actually very, very, very bizarre when you know if you wanted to, you can follow every second of any person's life just by flicking a button. It's kind of a little freaky to think someone can, is actually watching you that much. I know they saw me wake up naked in the parlor, like, for sure. Like, I'm thinking maybe the TVs were off, and like, no. But they catch everything. Mm -hmm.